Hi, it's Evie here. Welcome to the Fairy Wren Nest and welcome to the Journey of with Angel series. Your playlist, so if you go to the playlist on my channel, you should be able to catch up on all that's been happening to date. I've had some lovely lives as well um, of a beautiful friendship shirt circle and it's just filling my heart and I, I invite you to join the journey. So today, as promised, I wanted to explore and convey some of my experiences and perhaps uh, highlight some of the energies around some of the angels. And the first angel I'd like to uh, share with you is Archangel Gabriel. And I briefly describe in the video how Archangel Gabriel came into my life many moons ago. And I also share uh, information and energies I believe associated with Archangel Gabriel and I put a lot of little words and notes on the screen for you too to welcome you to write any notes that you feel you want to about Archangel Gabriel's energy and the um, energy that resonates with you of course and I encourage you always to journey with angels in your own beautiful way and in your own beautiful voice. There's also a journal that I encouraged if any of you want to join in that as well. I have a special journal for the series where I give ideas and I reflect after spending the last week bringing in Archangels Gabriel's energy. I take you on a little excursion um, and just little snippets of what I've done during the week and the synchronicities and the angelic messages I got. I hope you enjoy this journey. Archangel Gabriel, please help guide us gently to make our lives a beautiful work of art. The King Parrot has come back today. If anyone knows my story of the King Parrot. We journey today with the beautiful energy of Archangel Gabriel. Meet Archangel Gabriel being. Coming up to Christmas time is uh, often regarded as the Christmas angel and very much about an angel of hope, love and light. And so much more. I met Archangel Gabriel in high school through studying the particular angels in art and my projects I did and of course I met Archangel Gabriel in a lot of the ancient arts and this one in particular is of the wonderful Leonardo da Vinci and I was probably about 12 or 13 and I did a wonderful project on Leonardo and I'll quickly just show you that. And that's how I met Archangel Gabriel. And here is a little of that art project I speak of that I did when I was 12, about 12 and a half. And Leonardo very much had the energy of Gabriel and you'll understand why as I talk in the rest of my video. So, and there you can see, I talked, there's um, the types of machinery that Leonardo uh, sketched. He's very much had a love of flight. And here I've got Leonardo. Leonardo studied the way birds flew and sketched drawings of men flying, oh, flying like birds. And there's um, Leonardo's Madonna of the Rocks or Virgin of the Rocks. And I do know that um, it's believed to be Archangel Uriel there. Nest, it's Evie here, and this is part of the Journey with Angels series. Everybody is welcome no matter what energy it is that you believe in and it's a universal energy and a universal language and everybody is welcome. So today we're going to be sharing the beautiful essence and energy of Archangel Gabriel. Now before I start, uh, as you know, most angelic uh, 
resources and information from ancient texts, historical texts, biblical texts have religious references. But please know this series is not based on religion or religious beliefs one may have or may not have. And while I do bring forth the references made based on religious references around the energy and understanding of that angel, it, it's um, purely uh, for everyone to embrace. It's beautiful in your own way and journey in your own way. Remember, the information we seek, especially historical and ancient texts, is all written by somebody else and somebody else's interpretation. So take what resonates with you and hold in your heart what you believe in. Take what resonates, but leave the rest to the breeze and to go out into to the universe. And that's what I do. I take what resonates with me and I just leave the rest. And I, that's just the beautiful way of journeying with the angels. And don't feel you have to uh, learn and study and um, have to know all, what all the archangels do and all the angels. I'm still learning too and it's been a lifelong journey and I can't remember them all. But just know really the angelic energy that I believe in has an umbrella energy for all angels. They're loving, they're caring, they're kind, they're giving, they're comforting, they're compassion, compassionate and just have the most beautiful guiding, caring energy and that's what I try to convey with my journey and what angels are. So also I encouraged when I did a resource video would you go and buy a journal for the series but please don't feel you have to you're still part of the series you're all welcome even if you don't do any of this. So each time I do uh, parts of the series I'll be doing a bit of art maybe poetry and writing and with the Archangels, I'll be doing a bit sharing my art and craft and ideas. So what I will do with each Archangel, before I do the video, I'll spend a week bringing in the Archangel's energy into my life, focusing on it and sharing with you what come up to help and inspire you to come up with ideas and how to work with angels. But I'm no teacher. I'm just an ordinary person who um, tries to share the beauty of life and my journey with angels and my journey that won't be your journey but we can share it together so um, let's journey with Archangel Gabriel today what I've done is for this video I've spent a week bringing in Archangel Gabriel's energy particularly around this time of year being Christmas time just to get a little bit of that essence of uh, why each in particular angel has the certain energy and vibration about them but please remember you don't have to uh, remember what every angel does there's millions and billions and trillions of angels and you don't have to remember oh my goodness what does Archangel Gabriel do or Archangel Michael you just call upon the angels, angels, please help, or however you it is that you work with that energy, you don't have to name them sp specifically. Uh, and each of us, as I've discovered sharing with most of you, you've shared too, that you have your own guardian angels as well. And they've all got their own unique and beautiful qualities and their own names, and they're not found in, in any historical texts or biblical texts. So this is how I'd love the series to just evolve and blossom is just sharing uh, before I come on each time with the angel that I'd like to talk about and share with you. Uh, I'll, I'll spend a week bringing their energy in and doing a little bit of art and writing and what came across my path. And I hope that will encourage you and inspire you too to perhaps yeah record it all that's if you want you don't have to uh, in your little journal and you write your own notes uh, about how you feel about each angel and it may not come from any text at all just from your own experiences and in your heart and that's all that matters 
So growing up and particularly at school, I always loved history and art and ancient history, ancient art, uh, ancient architecture. So I always chose those subjects going through school and majoring in them also. And my love of Leonardo da Vinci came about very early. If anyone is in Australia, it was in year eight in history. And I've done a lot of uh, assignments on ancient art and particularly angels in art. He did a beautiful painting called the Annunciation. A lot of uh, famous painters, ancient painters, did like Botticelli, uh, for instance. And it's when I really first become fascinated about symbolism. And this is Leonardo's painting of Archangel Gabriel. And I learned back then when studying the ancient arts that Archangel Gabriel's symbol that resonates with me is the beautiful white lilies and they are symbolic of peace, spirituality and purity and that's Botticelli's, sorry Botticelli's and Archangel Gabriel gifted Mary white lilies when Gabriel delivered the message of her impending birth of Jesus and it's believed that the lilies were unscented and when she touched them they emitted this beautiful fragrance and I just love that story uh, and energy around Archangel Gabriel is I really love flowers and my one of my guardian or both my guardian angels have flower names and I've already mentioned one of those in my guardian angel names video so that's why I really do love the essence of Gabrielle and there's Gabrielle there holding the beautiful white lilies so on my journey this week I I'd, a couple of weeks ago I bought some peace lilies also and I'll, I'll show those during the video as well but I also but this week I actually came across a beautiful white lilium and I've never grown the liliums I've grown the peace lilies they're not in bloom yet so I thought that was a lovely sign around the energy of working with Gabrielle for this video this week uh, so perhaps you might like to find see if you can find a white lily or perhaps you can draw a white lily when we share our art you'll see a white lily pop up it's a beautiful Archangel Gabriel he's known as the Archangel of announcements of communication um, and the messenger and very much a power and strength of the divine and Gabriel has a beautiful copper colored trumpet so Gabrielle's light they say is either copper colored like the carnelian crystal or a beautiful diamond white light now just because um, that's written as other people's interpretation you may find other crystals to work with with Gabrielle and perhaps other flowers as well as Gabrielle is connected to the rose also but you might have another flower connection with Gabrielle so don't feel you have to follow the texts the guidebooks the references uh, I just know that I do hold the beautiful white lily as a, a definite um, symbol for me for Archangel Gabrielle when I talk about angels or express my um, love of angels, 
uh, I al always try to remember, this is what I remember, is that most of the angels are loving, caring, or, or, yeah, kind, healing, comforting. They have this umbrella energy about them. So it's just a journey. Um, don't become overwhelmed with it. Enjoy the journey. And sometimes it's, it's good not to get tied up in the finer details, to just embrace the beautiful energy. Uh, and it evolves over the years. So, and I can't remember what all the um, archangels do. So, yeah, <laughs> unless you, I go back to any references that I've written. So, yeah, just embrace it. They've all got the same beautiful umbrella energy. So, of course, Archangel Gabriel brings joy and happiness and abundance. Uh, he's a very compassionate. And as I mentioned before, is definitely an angel of annunciations and communication and relaying messages, bringing divine messages to you and divine insights and divine mysteries uh, become revealed around Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel is very much associated around uh, the create by creativity, the creation of life and so very much has a very feminine energy and very much uh, Archangel Gabriel is associated with the moon and the day of Monday. Monday is very much um, has the energy of the moon and the star sign Cancer. So it has a very feminine nurturing and caring energy particularly around um, the history of Archangel Gabriel announcing to Mary her impending birth of Jesus. So that's that creation of life. So Gabriel's very much about creativity, creating life, uh, whether it's for parents, around parents, uh, fertility, uh, family, uh, bringing um, yeah, up family and children, and even if you're foster, planning on fostering or adopting, but also it's about the lives we create for ourselves, giving birth to our lives, uh, new projects, new ideas, new adventures, uh, new radiance about ourselves perhaps. So very much uh, that yeah, creating our, our lives as being a work of art. So um, don't feel left out with Gabriel because in a lot of texts it says that Gabriel is about creativity and straight away we think about the creative arts, which is true. You know, the beautiful, those who inspired the writers, the poets, the dancers, the singers, the actors, the actresses, the performers, the artists, the, you know, the, the creating, but Remember, it's Archangel Gabriel is for all of us because we all want to create a beautiful life for ourselves, whether that means um, having a beautiful, uh, happy family, creating a, a nurturing family, or perhaps about um, being, a, you know, just being adventurous, wanting to be adventurous, or just creating a happy life for ourselves, just being content at home, reading, or watching our favourite movie, just believing that our lives are a work of art, you know, no matter what it is we've created for ourselves. So yeah, always remember that about Gabrielle. Look, Gabrielle's very much like a motivational coach and Gabrielle's trumpet is like a, a like a, a wake-up call to us all, like a a time to reflect and look to our past and bring us spiritual enlightenment, just like the beautiful uh, white lilies. So, and it helps us make wise decisions and be trusting in um, where we're going in life and what we're creating in life. But yeah, perhaps. Uh, like where those caterpillars in the cocoon 
um, Cabriel gives us that inspiration to follow the light and to emerge from any from our past as well, to emerge from that like a beautiful butterfly growing our wings and, um, you know, uh, reaching that beautiful uh, spiritual enlightenment about our lives and the joy, you know, to embrace our lives also. So I just want to read this. I've written some notes. So um, Gabrielle is very much the guardian of the West, which is the gateway to our emotions, inspiration, our change and creativity. And the West is very much associated with introspection and of the evening. And I love how the essence of Gabrielle is around the moon energy, uh, that beautiful uh, feminine energy, very much connected to our femininity and nurturing and that softer, gentler side that, um, that we all uh, have within us. And I love the, the little uh, snippets of information that I found that uh, the sun or the moon was believed in ancient times, a long time ago, to be as bright as the sun. So Gabrielle brushed um, over the moon to give it that beautiful, gentle energy at night so we don't fear the night as well. So very much about embracing the moon energy with Gabrielle and also that beautiful water energy because the moon controls the tides and life on earth without uh, uh, the water, without water we have no life as well. And I love how that moon controls the energy and uh, the water, the nurturing emotional energy around Gabrielle's energy. I just love that. And those of us that uh, like to follow the angelic energy, of course, in tarot, it is believed that in the Rider Waite Smith edition of tarot, it is believed that that is the Archangel Gabriel there with the trumpet. It's another beautiful reference. And also in some text you'll find Gabrielle referred to as having feminine form or masculine form. So I just thought I'd show you a few depictions of various artists' interpretations of Gabrielle in text and oracle and tarot. So of course we have Leonardo da Vinci's, we have Botticelli's, and the lilies and the lilies this is the Annunciation as well this is Luca Signorelli's interpretation so again some as I mentioned texts may have their writings as masculine energy some may have their writings as feminine energy and same with the illustrations and depictions throughout history. Some may have masculine energy, some may have feminine energy and some may have a non-binary energy of appearance. So please always take what resonates with you. I love this one. It's like an orchestra of birds and Archangel Gabriel there very much the eight of wands even though Gabriel is very much the moon and the water as I described but I can see why this creator of this tarot I used Gabriel for the wands suit because of the energy of communication and the energy of creativity and creation and yeah, I can see why they, why the artist has used that fiery energy. This text has a 
this one's um, very masculine energy about this depiction of Gabrielle. Another uh, painting, famous painting of the Annunciation with Archangel Gabrielle. And this is by Ferrari Gaudenzio. And yet another famous painting of the Annunciation by Ustache Sio. So I just help, um, hope that shows you uh, just the different depictions of uh, illustrations, various illustrations of Archangel Gabriel. Stills to work with Gabrielle. So I've just decided to choose my own. So if you do your own research, choose what resonates with you. And because uh, angels always have that beautiful, joyous and happiness or comforting energy, um, I just wanted to bring my own. <laughs> yeah. So I always love to work with clear quartz. It's my little cluster because I believe it's just uh, a, a simple crystal that really is the master of all crystals. That's what I believe. Uh, people tend to um, overlook a clear quartz crystal because it has no colour, but we forget when the light's in the right light, it reflects the most, um, all the colours of the beautiful uh, spectrum of the rainbow. It's a very important crystal to me to work with any angelic realms. Blue lace agate, I love this one because it has a love heart. And I find a beautiful Mother Mary connection with this, particularly because it's called blue lace um, agate. It's the lace symbolic of Mary's veil, and particularly with Gabriel uh, being uh, known really around this time of year as the Christmas angel. And the uh, animal that I like to associate with Gabrielle is the owl particularly associated with night and the moon and like crystals uh, depending on who writes the text they're going to tell you different crystals as I mentioned and different animals to work with so uh, I suggest do your own research and go with what's in your heart just what you feel connected to so I love the energy of the owl and I love connection to owl and birds if you know me I love birds working with Gabrielle I uh, hope that's given you a few little um, bits of inspiration ideas. So I hope that's given you a little bit of insight about um, the energy I believe up through my own research. And um, always remember, you know, plenty of information out there. So let's share a little bit of the what I've done during the week, um, bringing Archangel Gabriel's uh, energy around a little bit of art and craft. A little bit of gardening and a little bit of visiting the lake in my area around the water energy. So I hope you enjoy this. And there's a beautiful white lilium I've bought this week around the energy of Archangel Gabriel and I did find that quite unexpectedly when I was looking for plants to pretty up my patio area. There's impatience there and agave and beautiful Hydrangea A beautiful kookaburra singing there in my garden sounding out messages like Archangel Gabriel's trumpet 
beautiful agapanthers, flowering gum trees. And yeah, I've been trying to pretty up my patio area. There's Dad's ponytail plant there, the one hanging down beautifully. Jade plants, I've got ferns and other lilies. Beautiful fuchsia and succulents. I've got to plant those in other pots. <laughs> There's my beautiful mandevilla. Gorgeous hibiscus. Jade plant. Jade plants are for good luck. And there's Moses, my cat. <laughs> He's on the patio with me, enjoying the plants. And here's reflections in my uh, journal around my week with Archangel Gabrielle. And I hope it inspires you uh, to do an angel journal. The king parrot has come back today. If anyone knows my story of the king parrot. So what I've done, done my little title page, Journey with Angels. <laughs> She's got a bird. If you know me, I love birds, of course. And I've just outlined some of what I believe Archangel Gabrielle's energy to be. And I photocopied Leonardo da Vinci's depiction of Archangel Gabrielle, which I've spoken about. And I did this paper collaging and just from a free magazine, an insurance magazine that gets delivered into my little box. And this is just a reflection I thought was beautiful uh, about my time spent at the lake that I showed you. I've cut out a picture in the shape of the moon of a, of a white lily, which is symbolic of Gabrielle's energy and the moon and that's from a bouquet of flowers I was sent when my mother passed away many years ago. So a very motherly nurturing energy bringing in with the moon and just the beautiful energy of the, the water and this actually looks like similar to the big bird span of wings I saw when I was by the lake the um, spirit and I love this this is almost a ghostly um, lighthouse and lighthouses are very symbolic of the beautiful energy of angels really they send out messages to guide 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 you on the the waters and I thought that was just beautiful and there was a little letter um, that I in the magazine as well and it says that sort of says it's a thank you letter that the adventurers says the adventurers arrived at the, safely at the destination thanks to your cheerful assistance which was much appreciated and I felt that had the energy of like a thank you letter to the angels I thought that's beautiful and I've sketched a, a little white lilium's picture and here is another photo taken many moons ago my own photography of a flower in my mum that was given to me when my mum passed away so I'm going to do a beautiful verse um, and poetry a personal verse for, for mum there and here's a beautiful uh, owl picture I found in an owl coloring book my soul is in the sky a Midsummer's Night's Dream, if anyone knows uh, Shakespeare at all. And I often quote Shakespeare in a lot of my videos. And I love how I saw the big bird wingspan in the sky because my grandfather sends me uh, angelic messages through the form of birds. And this is the beautiful book that that quote came out of and it's an owl coloring book <laughs> and look it actually says hello angel on it I couldn't believe that when I saw it in the shop 
and there's the actual page there. So lots of beautiful messages coming around finding the owl yeah, and working around owl energy this week. I've had to film this part of the video a few times. So the first filming I will show at the end where a breeze comes over at the end and it's like Archangel Gabrielle's presence brushing over my journal and closing it. So I will show that at the end, but I've um, added a few finishing touches to this journal. So I hope you enjoyed the journey. I'd love to hear if you're doing a journal at all uh, with the series. And um, love to hear about your experiences with Archangel Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> please. It's a blessings all. And have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Take care.